What's going on guys and welcome back to episode 5 now of my transfer rumour video. We have got now um, some great transfer rumours today and some confirmed ones as well. It was a very busy night last week, uh, last night sorry, and there was a there was a few kind of strange ones you will see in this video. You can see one in the thumbnail, is Suarez to Man City, I'll go more into that. And it's a different one, it's a different one to what you would normally imagine in this series. But as you can see, we're going to start off with one that is an exciting one potentially uh, for a lot of Premier League fans. A return for Robin Van Persie to the Premier League, of course he has been at Fenerbahce these last couple of seasons. He is linked back to West Ham, which would be an interesting deal. Um, that would probably mean Andy Carroll leaving, uh, and a few different changes like Enna Valencia and stuff. So it'll be, it'll be, he's also been linked with Crystal Palace, and it will be interesting to see if he does make a return to the Premier League. No price has been thrown about yet. Um, so I'm going to give it a rumour rating of 7 as I don't think he's that happy at Fenerbahce at the moment. I think he's looking for a move. He has, um, apparently Fenerbahce have told him he can move and stuff like that. So he might move but I just don't know if it will be to West Ham. Also a transfer rating of 8 as I think it would be a pretty decent signing for West Ham if they could in fact pull this one off. Then going to a confirmed one is Muna Year um, of now PSG. He did play for Club Bruges last season. Now a PSG player. 6 million euros was the price tag. Of course he did play well in the Euros. Um, and I actually thought I actually thought he was very, very good in the Euros when I watched him. I was a supporter of Belgium in the Euros and I wanted him to win it, but um, sadly they were put out. But no, that wasn't really his fault. He did have a very, very good Euros campaign. I'm going to give it a rumour rating of 10, of course, because it has been confirmed. Um, photos, everything like that has been confirmed. And also a transfer rating of 9, as I think this is a solid signing. They've let go of Van Der Veel. Aurier um, has a very, very good right back as well, so now he's got some competition unless they let go of him. But it, it looks like it could happen. A very, very good signing, and I can't wait to see him in Ligue 1 next season. We then go into Kouwaba. And if Chelsea, if Chelsea can pull this one off, he will be one of the best centre backs, if not the best centre back in the league. He was incredible at Napoli last season. Um, one of the best centre backs in the Serie A. Of course, it would be a, pre a quite a hefty uh, price tag for a centre back. Thirty million pounds is the the kind of um, the price tag that Napoli have said they will um, let him go for and stuff like that. I'm going to give a rumour rating of 6 as it has just came out and I don't know how true this is. Um, we might find out in later days or weeks and then I might include it back into another episode. And I'm also going to give it a transfer rating of 10 because I think this would be a very, very solid finding for them and it'd be incredible for them. They also signed Bad Wee, who I haven't included in this episode but he did sign for Chelsea this week. We then go to this one and this one seems like a massive, massive um, <coughs> kind of downgrade in Juan Mata's playing style. No offence to Everton fans, but of course you're, you are going down a bit when you move um, from Manchester United to Everton. So it looks as if this could happen. Of course, Jose Mourinho doesn't like him. Um, he has... He did let him go to Chelsea when he was there. £20 million pounds as well seems like a pretty good deal, in my opinion, for a player of Juan Mata's quality. He's a very, very good player. And no offence to Everton, but I think he can do better than a club um, that is sitting mid-table in the Premier League. Rumour rating of 8, I think it could happen just because it has been highly ranked in the last couple of days. And a transfer rating, of course, of 9, because it would be a very, 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 very good signing if they could get their hands on him. We now go into probably the strangest one of today's episode. That is Luis Suarez to Manchester City. Of course, he's at Barcelona at the moment. He is one of the best strikers in the world, probably the best striker in the world. £85 million pounds is the price tag as well, so it's a lot more than what Barcelona paid for it to him um, when they bought him from Liverpool. But he has improved from what he was like at Liverpool. And this would be an incredible signing if they get pulled it off. But I'm going to give it a rumour rating of 2 as it's not going to happen. It's just paper talk. I think it was the Sun especially um, that came out and said this. So it's not going to happen. But if it did, it would be incredible. And I've given it a transfer rating of 10 for that. It would be one of the best Premier League signings ever probably if this did uh, actually happen. But it's not going to. And that is the bottom line. We then go into another confirmed one guys. And it is Krachowiak of course now of PSG as well. Him and Munir signed on the same day I believe. And hadn't been off for a couple of days before. So they're bringing in a lot of signings recently PSG. In the first couple of days of the transfer window. So it'll be interesting to see how they continue this. Um, throughout the rest of July and into August. It was a very very. Sh it came out of nowhere. Um. He was linked to Manchester City, Manchester United, all these big clubs. And then they just went to PSG out of nowhere. They just signed him, confirmed it. There was no rumours or anything before it that I saw. 26 million as well. It's an absolute bargain. He's a great player. Rumour rating of 10 because it has happened. And a transfer rating of 10 as well because he was one of the best players, in my opinion, in um, the Euros this year. He controlled play for uh, Poland and Sevilla last season. And he's all around a great star to have. We then have Dennis Suarez. 
who has signed for Barcelona for 3.25 million. They did have a buyout clause for him, um, which so they bought him back for a certain price, 3.25 million from Villarreal. Um, that was a buyout clause in his contract, and this is a good signing if they actually use him. I don't know if they're going to use him. Of course, I've given it a transfer rumor, uh, a rumor rating, sorry, of 10 because it has been confirmed. Um, but a transfer rating only of 7 because I feel he's not going to get as much game time as maybe he'd like to get. I think he probably might go out on loan somewhere. Um, it would be interesting to see what happens in that aspect. But it is a good signing for Barcelona if they will actually use him. He's a young, talented player um, and he will be able to link up. But when you get players like... Neymar and Messi, he's just not going to fit in the squad as easy as that. We then go on to a coach. Um, Mikel Arteta, of course, of Arsenal last season, has retired and he has joined Manchester City and Pep Guardiola's coaching staff on a free deal as a coach. So that's rumour rating, of course, 10, because um, it has happened. And a transfer rating of 10 as well. I think he will be an incredible coach at Man City. Guardiola, you know, only only gets the best. He's the best manager in the world. He's only going to get the best, um, the, the best he kind of coaches he wants. He looked at um, Nico Arteta. He sees something in him. He must be a great coach. So it'll be interesting to see how well he does this season. But in my opinion, he's going to do it very, very well at Manchester City and hopefully get us a few more titles and stuff like that alongside of course, like um, Guardiola and the rest of the coaching staff. We then go on to this one, which is Musa, who has just signed for Leicester City, um, or is about to sign for Leicester City. The medical is supposed to be on Wednesday, um, Wednesday the 6th of July, so that should be interesting to see if everything goes through on Wednesday or Thursday. But CSK Moscow, um, apparently going to let him go for 16.6 .6 million to Leicester. This would be an incredible, and I mean incredible signing, not just for the Premier League, but see him using him in FIFA now in BPL teams. He will be overpowered. A rumour rating of 9, as at least if the medical is just going to have to come through and then it will be confirmed. And a transfer rating of 10, I think it's, a, it's an incredible signing, a very, very good signing. And I think he will do very, very well and will influence the squad quite well. Because um, he does have experience in other leagues and not just... Um, one like I think it's been a few weeks, so it'll be interesting to see how he does. We then have Diego Costa as today's last player. He has been linked back to Atletico Madrid. That's of course where he was before he signed for Chelsea. Um, Chelsea did buy him from Atletico Madrid. The price is looking like forty million pounds. Of course, they've just brought in Basho Wee, um, but does, Conte does like to uh, play two up front, so it'll be interesting to see in the next few days if they are linked to any strikers. I know they are linked with a few big ones, which I might include, in, I might include one in particular in tomorrow's episode, so make sure to check that out. Um, but I'm going to give it a rumour rating of 7, as it's not... It could go either way. It, I wouldn't be surprised if he left. I wouldn't be surprised if he stayed. Um, so I'm just going to kind of leave it at 7 a bit, going towards him moving as I feel like he might not be as happy as maybe he has been in previous seasons. And also a transfer rating of 8. I think he'd be an okay uh, signing for if I had to come dread. He would bang in the goals and stuff like that, but I don't think he is a, a, a quality, quality striker. He's not up there with Lewandowski, Suarez, Aguero, those kind of strikers. Um, but he is a striker that did well in Liga BBVA and will probably do better in Liga BBVA than he has been doing in the BPL recently. But anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, make sure to smash the like button. 15 likes to be insane guys, subscribe as well if you're new to the channel, check out the shout out Sunday video which was yesterday, and apart from that I'll see you guys next time.